What do you mean by the term control systems? My name is Rishi Ramjo and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term control systems? Well, let's find out. So control systems, just like the name suggests, it is a system of components that are interconnected with each other so that we can obtain a desired response by controlling the output. Let me make that simple for you. So any electrical appliance that we see around us is can or can be termed as a control system. For example, your fans. So in the case of your fan, what we observe is that when we turn on the switch, the fan starts rotating. That is we are giving an input. That is the input is the fact that we are turning on the switch. When we turn on the switch, a power supply will be given to the fan and the fan starts rotating. But but we can actually decide how fast we want this fan to rotate with the help of a regulator. So that is by operating the regulator we have five speeds one two three four five. So therefore by controlling this regulator we can actually control the speed with which this fan rotates. So therefore we are controlling the output which is the rotation of the fan. This does is a simple example of a control system. Another example is your air conditioner device. So here with the help of your remote you set the temperature to whatever desired temperature that you want. So therefore when you set the temperature to whatever desired temperature that you want your room will be then set to that particular temperature. So therefore if this controlling element was not there the air conditioner will just randomly keep cooling the room until whatever temperature it can. We are not controlling it, but with the help of this particular controlling device, we can actually control the conditioning of this particular surroundings to whatever temperature that we want to. Here I have set it to 24 degrees. So now this room is set to 24 degrees. So here I am controlling the output of the air conditioner. So this thus is simply what you refer to as a control system. That is a system of components that are interconnected with each other so that we can obtain a desired response by controlling the output. Here be the case of an air conditioner, be the case of a fan. It consists of a lot of components working together. It has a lot of components working together but all these components are interconnected with each other so that they can collectively give us the desired response. How is that? By controlling the output. As simple as that. This thus is a simple explanation to what you refer to as a control system. So I have written it down a system of components which are interconnected with each other in order to provide a desired response by controlling the output that we get from that system is what you call a control system. As simple as that. So this is the basic simple diagram of a control system. So here we have a control system. So here when we give a particular input value to this we get a controlled output value from this. So this thus is simply what you refer to as a control system. So now there are two types of control systems that we have. Two types. First one is an open loop control system and the second one is a closed loop. Well, what are these two? What are open loop control systems and what are closed loop control systems? Well, let's find out. So first, let us see what you refer to as an open loop control system. So we have seen water heaters in which we have a metallical rod that we dip into a bucket of water. So therefore this metallical rod is dipped into a bucket of water and this metallical rod is connected to a power supply. And now when we supply power to this particular metallical rod, this metallical rod starts getting heated. It starts getting heated and this heat is transferred to the water that is present inside the bucket. So therefore this particular rod now heats up and therefore it transfers the heat onto the surrounding water and thus it heats the water around this. But, but here what you observe is that as the current flows or as we provide power to this particular rod, it continuously keeps on heating the water. That is, we can't specify to what temperature we need to heat this particular water. 
this particular water will keep on heating until we provide this particular voltage source it is only when we cut this voltage source this particular rod will stop heating so that is here whatever output that we are getting is not influencing the input that is we have no control or no idea as in how much this water is getting heated to that is what you refer to as an open loop control system that is we are not giving any feedback from the output quantity that is the input to the system does not depend on the output that is provided from this particular system so therefore if you are drawing a basic block diagram of an open loop control system it would look somewhat like this first we will have a particular input quantity and this input quantity will be provided to a particular controller and therefore producing a controlled process this thus gives us the output which is the heating of this particular water so here what you observe is that the input is independent of the output all that we observe is that if we increase the input the output also increases or if we just remove this input we will completely be devoid of this particular output so therefore here the input has no connection with the output that is there is no feedback provided to the particular input so this is what you refer to as an open loop control system the best example of an open loop control system is this immersive rod water heater here how much of the water gets heated it is not affecting how much power is supplied to this particular rod it just keeps on it just blandly keeps on heating the water but that is when you come to the next type of control system which is a closed loop control system so in a closed loop control system what you observe is that here from the particular output over here a feedback element is provided over here like this a feedback element is also provided like this so therefore let me make it simple for you let us take the condition of an air conditioner so now i have set the temperature to 24 degrees i'm setting it to 24 degrees now so now the air conditioner will slowly conditioning this room to around 24 degrees but once this room reaches 24 degrees it must not cool the room further so therefore there is a thermostat or a thermometer inside the air conditioner which continuously keeps on measuring the temperature of this room once the temperature of the room reaches 24 degrees then it must not cool the room further so therefore it has to maintain the particular temperature of this room so therefore the input of this particular air conditioner is now being regulated or controlled by the output that is once the output reaches 24 degrees then the input is now controlled again so that the 24 degrees is maintained in this particular room that is what you simply refer to as a closed loop control system that is we are providing a feedback to the input so that we can control the input so as to get a desired output as simple as that a basic example of a closed loop control system is an air conditioner as simple as that guys so these are, are the two main types of control systems that we have so now in the case of an open loop control system we don't have a feedback element that is we have an input it is controlled and we are providing an output so therefore it is a bit more stable it is a bit more simple we have no complex situations there so that is the advantage of using an open loop control system but in the case of a closed loop control system we take a feedback and we are providing it to the input and the input has to be varied according to it. so therefore there is a bit amount of complexity inside this and plus it is a bit more less stable when compared to open loop control systems but the advantage of using a closed loop control system is that it is a bit more precise it is precise it is accurate it is we can provide an accurate controlling of the output because we are taking a feedback from the output and providing it to the input so this thus is the basic idea of what you refer to as a control systems and the types of control systems that are present as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so with this video we'll be starting the course on control systems so i'll be uploading six playlists where each playlist corresponds to one module so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a control system and if you guys found this video informative please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you